Natural numbers, often called counting numbers, are typically as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We carry on up to 11 and those dots represent the fact that we can carry on counting if we so wish. Humankind have used natural numbers the longest, i.e. counting numbers. We invented numbers to enable us to count things. A village, for example, would count how many goats they had. If a village had no goats, then they wouldn't require a number to represent how many goats they had. So the notion of a zero wasn't really necessary in early humankind's history. So there was no real symbol for it. When the notion of zero was understood, it was an important breakthrough in the development of mathematics, but we'll talk about that some other time. So we can say natural numbers do not include zero. Consider the following number line. I've marked off the number line in equal steps, as you can see here, and I'm labeling them 1, 2, 3, all the way to 7. And if I carry on in the direction shown by the blue arrow, the next marking would be 8, then be 9, then be 10, and so on. And now if I go in the other direction, I'm marking them off as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. And in this particular direction, in the negative direction, I would go to minus 7, I would go to minus 8, minus 9, and so on. Here you can see I'm just pointing to 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I'm showing you that those are examples of natural numbers. Now the thing we need to realize about natural numbers, if we consider 0, it's not a natural number. So that's important when we discuss natural numbers, we realize 0 is not a natural number. Likewise, all of these negative numbers are not natural numbers. For example, what is a negative goat? Don't make any sense. We can also come here and mark this point on the number line, and that's five and a half. Now that is also not a natural number. So we need to understand natural numbers from the viewpoint of the number line, because it gives us a handy way to visualize what's happening when we deal with all of the number systems that are possible within mathematics. So let's be clear about natural numbers. If a number is negative, it is not a natural number. Simple as that. If a number contains a fraction, it is not a natural number. Zero is not a natural number. It is useful to think of natural numbers as belonging to a set, a set of natural numbers. Think of a set as a bag containing things. We call the things elements. So here you can see, I'm quickly sketching out a bag, and we put things in it. We put elements in the actual bag. So let this bag be something that contains natural numbers. And here you can see I'm putting natural numbers in here. One, two, three, and so on. Now this funny look again is a symbol we use to represent natural numbers. Now all of these numbers I'm writing out here, zero, minus one, minus two, and so on, they are not natural numbers. Consequently, they are not allowed in the bag. They're not part of the set. Now, there are better ways to represent sets, as we'll see with some later videos. But I think it's a, a good idea to have this notion of a container of some kind into which we put things. And when we're dealing with natural numbers, we put in things that are natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 7. No, it doesn't belong in the container. It's not a natural number. 7.5. No, it's not a natural number. 0. No, definitely. That's the one people often trip up on. Zero is not part of the natural number set.